scoreline um, didn't reflect how close that game was. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think we've come a long way in the last few years and um, we're getting close to there, but um, super, uh, yeah, obviously pleased with a large portion of how we managed to hang in because once again, though, we, we sort of did a lot of it to ourselves and um, we've got another understanding of what pressure is and how you assert pressure, how you apply pressure and how you keep at a plan, a stick at a plan and apply pressure. And we didn't do that well enough tonight, so that's what ends up happening to you by the end of a game. It gets away on you for that. But um, when we figure that part out and stick at it, yeah, we're getting close. Those lessons that you learned, you got them from a team that knows how to nail those big moments, particularly yeah. their, their yeah. number seven as well. Yeah, abs just, yeah, exactly. Just control fundamentals like um, simple errors and then timing of uh, when and where to play. So we, um, but like they were fantastic too, Penrith. Like they did what they did. They that's how they work. That's how they play. That's why they're three-time premiers. And you know they're a team in the um, in the middle of a dynasty there, and we're a team in the middle of development. So there's um, there's levels to it, and we're not quite there yet. He still pushed them for what 70 minutes, Fitzy. Mm. Do you leave with the what ifs? Like a couple of times, almost tries in the end goal, just battered dead. A few errors off penalties and scrum. If you just nail a couple of those moments, you think the result could have been different tonight? Yeah, uh, that's what hurts so much because you saw the effort. I think um, I think our ability to hang in is probably something that's been questioned in the last couple of years. I think we've gotten a lot better at that. There's a lot of pieces in play that are starting to add up now and what's required for this time of year. Um, and we're going to have to go and earn them all again next year. So. But I love the way we've gone through all that and developed it and getting there and getting there. But yeah, it's still agonisingly short. Well, it's not, I would say it was a fair margin by the end of the game, but that's, that's the levels they're at and that's what we've got to aspire to get to. Fitz, when you say like, they're a team in Genesee, you're a team in, in development though. Like, you look at the ex experience gap tonight, do you sort of feel like getting to a prelim final, winning last week, that goes a long way next year to, I guess, reducing that gap and your guys being in a better position? In games like tonight? Yeah, yeah, like I've sort of just been weighing it up in my mind in there about how pleased with a lot of things I am. I just, just hate losing, and that, yeah, you know, the way we did that was tough, but obviously so proud of how far we've come, honestly. Like, we really, we've had a lot of challenges this year, eh? like, you know, with Dale and Tricky earlier in the year, and players in, players out, and every team has them, I'm, I'm sure of that, but. Um, I just love the way we hung in. Didn't go away. I'm really pleased with that part tonight. That's something that you can really grow on that, the ability to hold in there. But which is, I'd like to get um, the simple stuff a bit better. But yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's exciting though. I am. I'm like super excited about what we could do. Yeah. Can you said the middle of a dynasty. Does that make you think it continues next week? Uh, oh, I'll figure a speech maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Melbourne were pretty um, pretty dominant, but Penrith were incredible. Like I'd like. Honestly, they just yeah felt like whenever we got going, you give them a, just a little like an inch, they just grab it, take it. It's sort of like whenever we let them let ourselves down with a an error or a poor kick chase, something so simple, they make you pay. So um, it's in, you know it's they're an impressive club. Um, they obviously, it's going to be a cracking grand final because Melbourne were impressive last night too. Cam, you played the Storm a few weeks ago, the Panthers tonight. What's the difference between the two teams? I don't know. I don't, don't really care to be honest, mate. Just <laughs> thinking about us and how far we've come and what could have been tonight, to be honest with you. Fitzy, like you're just saying how good they both are. So, who wins? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be sitting here making a prediction on um, facing both of them. Both did the same thing to us. Um, we both didn't, yeah, you and know, in both of our occasions, I don't think we played our best footy, and so we found out the hard way what a team knows how to control a game field position, fundamentals of the game. And um, yeah, I reckon whoever those, those uh, both spines, whoever gets out of the game out of those will determine. Cam, what are your emotions after a season like that? Let's Fitzy touch on, you lose your leader in Dale Finucan early on. People question the Sharks at different times during the season, but you get within 80 minutes of a grand final. How do you kind of sum up 2024? Yeah, massive resilience shown by everyone in the group. Some challenging times, some good times, but um, yeah, I thought tonight, yeah, it's, it's not just happy to be here, mate. Like, we were, you know, we know that we've got so much in us. And as the coach said, at times tonight, we felt like we are getting the upper hand, but just a couple of moments away. 
it's massive at this time of the year and it's big learnings for us but um still disappointing because you don't just want to be here and if it's just not enough you need to ice your moments so we just got to learn and we will do you think it's the de- Penrith's defence forcing into errors, or do you think? Oh, I thought some... no, I don't. I don't think we followed the plan as clearly as we did the week before. To be honest, um, simple decision making under pressure. But what happens is Penrith apply the pressure, so you got to be crystal clear on what your objectives of how you want to play are. Um, and yeah, the the good part of where we're at is I don't see a massive issue that we have to change everything or whatever. We've we've just got a lesson in there's there's a there's a level here. There's a level in this this process that we've got to get right, and I'm excited for that. Like I, I'm so uh, yeah, so much to look forward to. But it just hurts so bad. <laughs> like losing. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. Is he what I'm making clear is capable of. You would have done a lot of work on him during the week. Like, how do you assess your form trying to shut him down tonight? Um, yeah, obviously preparing for his last plays is um, a handful because he has an arsenal there. You know, like he's still got that 40-20 office and. Um, you know, I thought uh, he's just game control. Like again, he's not going to search. He's just going to wait, and if you make a mistake, he'll make you pay. So um, I reckon the dude in the middle in 13s just as influential to what they do. He's incredible. It's your next game will be against the same side in Vegas to start next year. What's going to be the focus over the summer to bridge the gap between the, the two teams? I oh, know. I wish it was next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to reassess all that. Like I said, this is um, still a bit raw, but well, like I say, again, so excited about the next step and the levels that we've got to find, but if we don't find them, the same thing will keep happening, and that's sort of been a slow uh, lesson for us over the last few years, but we do feel that we've, we're getting closer, but obviously not close enough tonight. And they, they, were, they were terrific. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.